you also were in Soul Plane with Mark with uh, <laughs> with, uh, with Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. That was one of the first things. And and be- this is kind of before Kevin Hart became the K Hart that we know him as currently. Oh. Did you see this kind of meor- meoric meoric meteoric rise? Yes. for him. Yes, Kevin was a superstar. But see, you gotta understand. Soul Plane was the most bootleg movie of yeah, all time. Like, I was at the dog. gas no, 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 wait, wait. I was at the gas station, and it was. I was like, man, this movie coming out in six months. They're like, hey, man, you did a good job in Soul Plane. I'm like, huh? Huh? I saw it last night. <laughs> I said, how you? Man, I got it at the house, man. What you talking about? I was like, I pumped my gas. Dude, I went to Roscoe's. It's sitting out there in front of Roscoe's. <laughs> I said, how y'all get so? Yeah, man, just go in, go in there and get your waffles, bro. Don't bother me, man. I, I wanted to be like, man, y'all can't be selling these movies. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, man, go get your waffles, bro. Don't be, don't be messing with me. I was like, all right, all right. I said, they selling my movie outside. Dude, the streets love, love Soul Play. Love so- they didn't pay a dime to see it, though. No. <laughs> it was awesome. I it love was it. It was awesome. Hey, man. But the streets had it six months before it came out. You know that copy came straight from Technicolor. Somebody in Technicolor. It's like the McDonald's scam. You know, right. McDonald's Monopoly. Yes. That somebody on the inside was giving it out. Yeah. And somebody on the inside sent that straight to the street because they knew they could get money on it. Right. Everybody made money but Kevin and the producers of that movie. <laughs> but see, now... But think about it. Look what Kevin is now. Right. I know? mean, you do voice acting. I mean, Boondocks, American Dad, Spider-Man, yeah. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Do you, I mean, cause a lot of people like, say they like doing voiceover roles. Do you it. like that? Love it. Love it. Everything. In, in fact, uh, oh man, I don't know. I can't even say it yet. Dang it. Oh, you got something. Else. I know. I know. I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. But uh, I love it. I love doing all this stuff, man. I mean, remember, it's all entertainment. You, right. you got to now, now understand this. I got to go back to another thing. When I started, people weren't doing like stars weren't doing commercials. Right. And they came. To, I remember getting this opportunity because one guy fell out. Uh, they had hired some guy to do it. And they said, well, we had this Terry Crews type guy. Why don't we just ask Terry Crews if you would do it? They put, presented me with the first Old Spice commercial. Yeah. And I said, hell yeah! Yes. Hell yeah! And I went in there, man, and they so was like, up, you, uh, grew up wearing those. <laughs> you grew up wearing those. You grew up wearing Old Spice back in Everybody wore that. Everybody. And look, first of all, you got to understand, it was kind of like on the outs. Like Old Spice was, uh, mm-hmm. they were thinking about changing it and the whole thing. And all of a sudden, it became... I can I said, you can entertain with two minutes, one second voiceover, you can entertain. I said, my rule, I have no rules. And dude, I did that whole campaign for 10 years. Wow. It changed the game. Like all of a sudden you have major stars now doing commercials right. and the whole thing. But I, the Old Spice changed the game. They played on it all over the NFL. That was, yeah. that was another thing that was kind of like my revenge on the league. Because I, you couldn't watch a game without seeing some uh, crazy Spice. Terry Crews Old Spice, Spice commercial. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I don't know if you have any horror stories, but Terry, but uh, Terrence Howard said that he was only paid like twelve thousand yeah. dollars for doing Hustle and Flow. You have any horror stories in which you felt that you didn't get the proper compensation that you deserved? I first of all, I and I understand what Terrence is saying, but I have never, ever, ever looked at whatever money I got as a horror story. Mm-hmm. If I did it. I loved it. Right. See, but this is the problem. I have a, I, there's a saying I have to say, you can't nod yes and mean no. If I nod yes, I looked at the terms and say, okay, you're going to pay me four grand for two days. Okay. If I said, okay, I can't come back later and be like, ah, oh, I only got four grand for that. That's what hey, man, mentioned. that's what you presented. Right. So there it is. Don't, ain't no, to me, I'm not, I'm not going back on that. Right. And this keeps my heart always full of gratitude because once I start to complain mm-hmm. about any of that, it starts to mess with my legacy. I didn't get nothing for training day. How about that? I didn't get a zero, but it changed my life forever. You didn't know who I was if it wasn't for a no paying job. First of all, it named somebody to play football for money. When they start, you don't get no money. Right. You play football for free. You play basketball for free. 
Then you get all the way to the pros and you get the millions. Ain't no other way, bruh. There's nothing else. Wait, there's no way to hop, skip, and jump this thing. You see what I'm saying? But that's the thing. People are trying to invent ways to get right to the money. But, hey, man, first of all, nobody knew who I was, and I got my shot. I got paid maybe four grand on Friday after next, but that's why I came up to Cuba and said, thank you. Thank you. That was a start. That was the start. Now, <laughs> Woo, they, I make money now. <laughs> you, you've you been a part of three shows that did at least 100 episodes. Yeah. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Are We There Yet? Everybody Hates Chris. That's an extremely rare feat it's crazy. for a single actor to have three different shows Very rare. to reach that. Very rare. But again, I I love, love, love working. I love what I'm doing. Got Just did a movie with Dave Bautista coming out next year called The Killer's Game. Mm-hmm. Um, so honored, man. Like, who gets this, dude? I'm living. You, you, you talking to an old football mm-hmm. player? You know that? Yeah. When I look at uh, the players I play with, and they just like, man, you killing it, mm-hmm. man. You like, and I, I gotta take it. But again, when I look at the fact that I don't, tomorrow's not promised, right? Shannon. I don't know if I'll be here tomorrow. So I'm going, and I'm going to take it. But every one of those roles. Mm-hmm. Makes me better. I learned on the fly. I didn't go to school. Right. So I learned by doing a hundred episodes of show. Right. You know, you know, it's funny. I'm on the road. I'm on the, I learned by acting. So Tashina Arnold, she'd be sitting there and I was like, man, these lines, they're hard to learn. He's like, I'm, man, I'm trying to learn these lines. She said, Terry, Terry, sing them. I said, what are you talking about? She said, sing your lines. And you sing it. You know how you sing. You memorize songs, right? Yes. She said, when you saw, when you talk it, sing it. And you remember it. See, that's a seasoned actress Mm -hmm. telling me the keys to the game. And I'm ready to receive it. Dude, I said, holy, it changed my life. Right. And Tashina is one of the most brilliant supers. Been acting since she was a kid. And she had all this knowledge. But but I'm open to it because I'm like, how do I do this? And I have no problem asking for help. No problem. You turned down the expendable four roles because of an assault and because yeah. you refused to withdraw yeah. the petition of the civil suit. Was that difficult for you or were you standing on, as they say, not business, but principle? It was, it was totally, it was extremely difficult because I love those guys, man. Mm-hmm. We did this together. You know, Randy Couture, Dolph Lundgren, Sylvester Stallone. I call him my dad in the business. He was like, man, you, I'm going to put you in this thing. And then when the fourth one came, I mean, the producer told me, yeah, ain't going to be in it if you don't drop this case. I said, come on, man. I said, what kind of game are you playing? Now, remember, I already been manipulated by the NFL. I'd never forget when I had to go home on that Monday and had to bring back my playbook. Right. So you can get me rid of me anytime you want. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But this was my terms. This is my Barry ain't going back. You know what I mean? This is me like, no, no, I'm not going to nod my head yes and mean no. I mean no this time. Right. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.